God bless you and welcome back to the channel Kingdom Crown Music Ministries. I am Prophet Kenneth Emanuel Thornton and today God has a very powerful prophetic warning. A very powerful prophetic warning for those in the church and those out of the church. And that warning is that your idol worship of celebrities and TV entertainment actors, uh, entertainers, singers will be judged. Your idol worship of celebrity entertainers will be judged. And I pray that this message has found you in health, wealth, and wisdom. The word that God has brought forth today can be found first in the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. That's 1 John, chapter 2, verses 15 through 17. And it reads, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the cravings of the sinful man, the lust of the eyes, the boasting of what he has and does, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires will pass away, but the man or woman who does the will of God will live forever. And we are definitely living in a time of idol worship. You can look at uh, the TV shows where Satan puts it right in front of you. The American Idol. Millions of people love that show. But it's putting right in front of you that the idols that this, the, the, the enemy puts up and causes you to worship will be your undoing, say the spirit of the living God. The idols that Hollywood and, and, and God is going to deal with Hollywood. God is going to bring Hollywood to his knees, say the spirit of the living God. But the idols that people and the paparazzi use, uh, Satan uses to get you to watch your favorite TV show, get you to watch your uh, favorite rapper, get you to watch your favorite R&B singer, get you to go and spend uh, thousands of dollars on money, uh, excuse me, on concert tickets to go to these concerts and to these movies and to these events that produ produce money and generate uh, finances for the kingdom of darkness. God is judging you on today. And you have to be very careful when you are on this internet, when you are on this uh, <clears throat> television channel. Tell live vision. Tell lie vision. Tell lie vision is right in front of you. Satan is using these mediums, these vehicles to program you. It's telling a lie to your vision. Tell lie vision. He puts it right in front of you. It's called what? Tell lie vision what? Programming. Because it programs you. It programs your children to do what? To love the world and the things of the world. Which is why you see all the rappers with all the bling. All of the uh, uh, movie stars, they have all the money and all of the, the material things to, that Satan uses to entice you. So they put the rappers, the entertainers, the actors up here. They give them all the money and the masses are down here broke. Or struggling. 
and it encourages you and your children to want to be like them, to strive to be like them, to strive to have the money, the prestige, the power, the fame. And he's using them as puppets to control the masses. You are being judged on today, Hollywood. You are being judged, but Beyonce, Jay-Z, they just came out with a movie called The Book of Clarence, where they're mocking Jesus Christ. They're mocking Jesus Christ openly. And God says, I have not, it is not gone unnoticed, saith the Lord. And God is keeping very meticulous records, Mr. Sean Carter. God is keeping very meticulous records, Mrs. Beyonce. And a host of others. God is not playing in this hour. He is dealing with his enemies. He is dealing with those that mock him and his son. Little Nas X, he will, you are going to be so judged. And you will indeed regret it. And to those of you that admire these idols, that admire these demonic uh, preachers that idolize these demonic worldly actors and entertainers, you are going to be judged right along with them. God is self telling you on today to separate yourself. He is telling you on today to separate yourself from the things of the world, from the people of the world. Because you are, will indeed be judged. And you look at the internet, you look at the television, you see nothing but filth and mockery of God and mockery of Jesus. And the world loves it and accepts those who do it. You will be judged, saith the spirit of the living God. Turn with me to the book of Ezekiel. And just in case you guys haven't noticed, go ahead and hit that subscription button, like the video, share it with someone that needs to hear it. This is a teaching channel. We don't just bring the word, we teach the word. We, we go from cover to cover in this Bible. And there is no false prophecies made on this channel. You can be sure of that. The book of Ezekiel, the sixth chapter, the ninth verse. Ezekiel 6, verse 9. Ezekiel chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. And it reads, Then, in the nations where they have been carried captive, those who escape will remember me how I have been grieved by their adulterous hearts, which have turned away from me, and by their eyes, which have lusted after their idols. He talking to you, Hollywood. And those that love Hollywood, and the rappers and those that love the satanic music industry. Then the nations where they have been carried, I'm going to read it again, captive. Those who escape will remember me how I have been grieved by their adulterous hearts, which have turned away from me and their eyes, which have lusted after their idols. 
They will loathe themselves for the evil they have done and for all of their detestable practices. And they will know that I am the Lord and I did not threaten in vain to bring this calamity upon them. And that's right. You will be punished very soon for your idolatry. God is not playing in this hour. Whatever a man soweth, that so he shall reap. Whatever a woman soweth, that so they shall reap. So she shall reap. And that goes for pastor, prophet, rapper, actor, entertainer, janitor, teacher, mayor, principal, governor, president. Nobody is exempt. And all who are participating in these detestable practices shall be judged and shall be dealt with. Here's the word. Swiftly, saith the spirit of the living God. Swiftly. Because God is sick and tired of his people. And those that are not his people, mingling together with the heathens, so-called Christians mingling together with the church, Kirk Flank Franklin, so-called Christians mingling together with the world. Because you are confusing those that are lost. And the devil's main goal in this last and evil day is to blur the lines between the sacred and the profane. He wants you to think that it's okay to mock God. He wants you to think that it is okay to make a fool of Christ and portray yourself as him. Nas, P. Diddy, Nas X. God is judging you. He is bringing his judgment upon the earth. And those who have mocked him and those who have ridiculed him, his son, the image of his son, you shall regret it, saith the spirit of the living God. Turn with me the, 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 the 14th chapter of Ezekiel and the 14th verse. Excuse me, Ezekiel 14, verses 12 through 14. And it reads, The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, if a country sins against me by being unfaithful, and I stretch out my hand against it to cut off its food supply and to send famine upon it, and kill its men and their animals, even if these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they could only save themselves by their righteousness, declares the sovereign Lord. In America, God has decided already to cut off your food supply and send famine upon you. And God is telling you right here in this verse, even if the great Noah, Daniel, and Job were in it, they could only save themselves. God is not sparing any more people on behalf of his servants. He's not doing it anymore. There was a time when 
a man of God or a prophet of God such as myself could say, Lord, spare, spare this town or spare this city. Please take your wrath. Don't, don't put your wrath upon it, oh God. Spare it because of your servant, uh, Kenneth Emanuel Thornton. And God would entertain it. God would consider it due to it being his servant requesting that the evil town or city be spared. But the, we are in a time where God is not sparing any one or anything on behalf of anybody. And he is telling you that are righteous on today. Don't even waste your time praying for these people. Don't even waste your time praying for these cities, these communities. Don't even waste your time praying for this nation. Because they have had full and fair opportunity to turn from their wicked ways and they have decided not to. And the only ones that will be saved in this particular day and time are those true men and women of God that walk upright before him in righteousness, in truth, and in love. Everybody else is fair game. Everybody else is fair game because God is done talking. He has done talking. The sin and the, the debauchery and the, 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 the lawlessness is, is so bad that God himself is going to come and he is going to create famine, death, and destruction. He's going to create and allow famine, death, and destruction all throughout this nation. So if you're wondering why the murders rates are so high in your community, idol worship. Sin. debauchery, the mockery of God and the Holy Spirit, Rick Ross. He ain't forgot about you, baby boy. He ain't forgot about you and P. Diddy's song, The Holy Ghost. He ain't forgot. See, y'all think God is playing with you. And that's the problem. Because in Noah, Daniel, and Job's day, guess what? They thought God was playing with them too. Not Noah, Daniel, and Job, but the people of their day that God sent them to prophesy to. To turn from their wicked way. They didn't want to hear it. They thought God was playing. Beaver County. Aliquippa. Beaver Falls, Rochester, they thought God was playing. And you're going to find out sooner than later that he's not. And he hasn't been. The only reason that total destruction hasn't come upon you yet is because of his grace and mercy and long suffering. But now it's over. Grace and mercy and long suffering has run its course. And now the wrath of God is being poured out upon all flesh. Pray and get out the way. Turn with me to Ezekiel 23. Ezekiel chapter 23. And verse 7. And so you got to understand that you live in, you ain't living in a day and time uh, 20, 30, 50 years ago where his mercy and grace was still uh, fresh. No, sir, we're living in a time where you, you can't play around. It's time to stop playing because God is done playing. Ezekiel chapter 23, verse 7. Reads, 
She gave herself as a prostitute to all the elite of the Assyrians and defiled herself with all of the idols of everyone she lusted after. She, verse 8, she did not give up the prostitution she began in Egypt when during her youth men slept with her, caressed her virgin bosom and poured out their lust upon her. Verse 9, therefore I handed her over to her lovers, the Assyrians, for whom she lusted. They stripped her naked, took away her sons and daughters, and killed her with the sword. She became a byword among women, and punishment was inflicted on her. He's talking about you, America. He's stripping you from head to foot. Your nation, your local community, your local city, your local uh, uh, officials. He's stripping you from head to foot. Because you defiled yourself with all the idols that you lusted after. You defiled yourself with all of the idols, the money, the bling, the prestige, the cars, the houses, the private school for your kids. And you sat back and you boasted. You boasted about your, your position, your status in the community. You boasted about your football team, your basketball team, your 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 championship ways. You boasted about being the head, the CEO of this, the CEO of that, the chairman of the board. And he is stripping you from head to foot, Hollywood, music industry entertainment industry he is stripping you because you lusted after idols you lust after the idols you love the world and the things of the world and the father is not in you saith the spirit of the living God and you shall pay the ultimate price Look at Ezekiel 23, chapter 23, verse 30. If you want to know why this is happening to you, to your community, to your nation, to your school, to your organization, you want to know why it's happening, why, why, you, why your family doesn't have enough food, because of the famine. Because God was trying to get your attention. He'd been trying to get your attention for the last 30 years. But you had your eyes on your idols. Ezekiel 23 verse 30 reads. Your lewdness and promiscuity have brought this upon you. That's why. Because you lusted after the nations and defiled yourself with their idols. That's why. The word of God is very clear. God is not going to bring, when, when, when God blocked, brought the flood, in Moses' day, he had Moses building the ark for 120 years or more and warning the people for 120. Do you know how? That's a lifetime. That's, a, that's, that's multiple generations. 120 years. And the people 
were so stiff-necked and stubborn, they laughed and ignored Moses every single day until that flood came. Until that flood came. And as they are burning in hell fire right now, I guarantee you, they're not laughing. I guarantee you that. They ain't laughing now. They ain't laughing now. Because you have forgotten God. You have put God behind you and picked up the cup of Satan and you're drinking. You're drinking. You're drinking. You're drinking with your pornography. You're drinking with your illicit rap music. You're drinking with your uh, mocking Jesus uh, movies. You're drinking with your murder. You're drinking with your no snitching. You're drinking with your false prophets. That you love so much because they won't bring you this truth. And you don't want to hear the truth. So you lift them up. And you try to act like the true prophets of God are false prophets. And you try to act like the false prophets are the real prophets. And God is fed up and enough is enough, saith the Lord. Judgment has fallen upon you, America. Judgment has fallen on you, states of America. Judgment has fallen upon you, cities. Judgment has fallen upon you, towns, communities, school districts. Judgment has fallen upon you. Turn with me to the book of Jeremiah. The book of Jeremiah, first chapter, 16th verse. And it reads, I will pronounce my judgments on my people because of their wickedness in forsaking me, in burning incense to other gods and worshiping what their hands have made. Verse 17, get yourself ready. Stand up and say to them, whatever I command you, do not be terrified by them or I will terrify you before them. He's talking to Jeremiah. Today I've made you a fortified city, an iron pillar, a bronze wall to stand against the whole land. That's what Prophet Kenneth Emmanuel Thornton is doing. I will stand against the entire land for God. The entire globe for God, the entire nation for God, the entire city for God, the entire community for God, the entire school district, football team, uh, city building, mayor's office, governor, whoever, wherever, whatever, anybody can get it. God is pronouncing his judgment because of your wickedness in forsaking me and burning incense to other gods. You think you walking around your house putting sage in the corners of smoke. You ain't doing nothing but the devil's work. And you are inviting demons into your home. You ain't running them out. You inviting demons. And look what he tells Jeremiah. For all of you, all of you demonic witches out there and warlocks and uh, people that are doing the devil's bidding that tries to come against the prophets of God. This one's for you. Verse 19. Because we already know what it is. God has already prepared us to deal with you. He's already took us in the spirit and showed us how to deal with you in the principalities. 
Ezekiel 1 verse 19. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you. For I am with you and will rescue you, declares the Lord. We don't worry about the false prophets out here. We ain't concerned about no witches or witchcraft. Be encouraged, man and woman of God. Because not enough of us are standing up. Not enough of us are confronting these wicked devils face to face. And knocking them down in their shoes. You got the church nowadays, bro, they can, they can disrespect God and Jesus any way they want. And the church nowadays ain't saying a word about it. Because all they're concerned about is offering and tithes on Sunday. Somebody tell me I'm lying. Church nowadays ain't saying nothing about uh, all of the demonic activity taking place in the community. Where you at, church? You think we don't see? You think we don't know? God is coming for you too. Because you are work, you have turned the church into an idol. You have turned the church building into an idol. And you are not exempt, saith the spirit of the living God. All of your services and all of your uh, programs and all of your preaching from this church to that church and all of your flyers. God is going to smack you dead in your face with them. See if I'm lying. And they will be used as kindle for the fire that will burn your very church building to the ground. Saith the spirit of the living God. God is fed up. He is fed up. Turn with me to the, the, the book of Hebrews. One of my favorite books. Chapter 10, verse 31, as we close. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 26 through 31. And it reads, If we deliberately keep on sinning after we received the knowledge of the truth, you have no excuse here. No sacrifice for sins is left. But only a fear. A, only a fearful expectation of judgment. And of raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. He ain't playing no more. Anyone who rejected the law of Moses died without mercy on the testimony of one or two or three witnesses. How much more severely do you think a man deserves to be punished who has trampled the son of God underfoot? Who has treated as an unholy thing the blood of the covenant that sanctified him and who has insulted the spirit of grace? Little Nas X. For we know him who said, it is mine to avenge. I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. It is a dreadful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. My God, you're going to pay. You are going to pay. For rejecting the knowledge of the truth of the spirit of the living God. So fearful expectation of judgment and a raging fire that will consume God's enemies. God is coming for his enemies in this day and time. He's coming for y'all. Sorry. Y'all thought, thought it was a game. And 
And it is a game, but God ain't playing. It's the game of your Babylonian system that you worship and, and idolize. It's the game of your, your actors and entertainers and, and uh, wicked, foolish uh, trolls that you use upon the internet. That you love to watch and, and follow so much. You're going to be judged. It's game over. Game's over, bro. The game is over. Because see, y'all playing. God ain't. And y'all thought he was playing. Because you, you, you're so tuned in to Satan. You're so tuned in to evil. You're so tuned in to debauchery. You're so tuned in to the club. You're so tuned in to uh, Lil Wayne and uh, Cash Money and, and, and Boosie and all of these demonic preachers. And that's all a rapper is, bro. Not all, but most of them are demonic preachers of the kingdom of darkness. And you tuned in. You know all the words to Young Dolph song. Can't squ quote one scripture. Why is that? You know all the all the words to Beyonce's song, but can't quote one scripture. Why is that? The church mocking, uh, uh, the world mocking the church, and the church want to be a part of the world. You're going to be judged. And you're going to be judged severely. When you see the famine, when you see the, 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 the death, and you're already seeing it. When you see the murder, You're already seeing it, but you're gonna you're getting ready to see it on a whole nother level. And you're gonna know that God ain't playing. But guess what? It's too late. It's too late. You had your time to repent. You had your time to turn from your wicked ways. You had your time to obey 2 Chronicles 7:14 and return from your wicked ways. God has been preaching that. Verse for the last, uh, for me, uh, for the last, since 2015, <laughs> to a bunch of different communities, turn from your wicked ways over and over and over. And now you seeing your kids dropping dead. And you want to cry out to God. Well, why wasn't you crying out to God when he was trying to get your attention? When he was trying to tell you to turn from your wicked ways. That's the time to cry out to God. There's a gap that grace and mercy is going to allow. But then there is a there is a set point time where grace is here and mercy is here. And there is a set time that you're going to pass through there. And once you hit the other side of grace and mercy, it's over. It's time for judgment. You can't go back and fix it. You can't go back and change it. You can't go back and Beg for forgiveness and ask for prayer and ask God to uh, help you and, and to, to, to give you another chance. He gave you enough. And now it's time for judgment. And for those of you that are righteous and that have been walking steadfastly and upright Continue to do so, saith the spirit of the living God. Do not allow what you see and what you're about to see to discourage you. But God has sent a prophetic word for you so that when you see the famine, when you see the death, when you see the destruction, when you see the nations falling, when you see the communities in disarray and being destroyed, you will not be discouraged 
thinking that the devil is taking over. It is not the devil taking over. It is God's judgment allowing the devil to do what he's doing to bring about that judgment. Because he's given the nations, the communities, the states, the cities, plenty of opportunity to turn and repent from their wicked ways. And they have chosen not to. And now judgment has indeed fallen. And I want to leave you with Hebrews chapter 10, verse 39 for the righteous. Be encouraged. Because verse 39 reads, but we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who believe and are saved. So this is the time for the righteous. This is, this is it's not the time to celebrate the judgment of the wicked, but it is time to receive our righteous reward because as they go down, we go up. Say it, the spirit of the living God. I pray that this message has found you in health, wealth, and wisdom. Go ahead and hit that subscription button, the notification bell. Share this video with anyone that you believe that needs to hear it. Once again, my name is Prophet Kenneth Emanuel Thornton from Kingdom Crown Music Ministries. I pray that you have a blessed day, a blessed week, and a blessed 2024. God has done plan. He has done plan and judgment have indeed fallen. Pray and get out the way. God bless you. God keep you. Until next time, take care. Peace.